space sector experiencing massive growth and in investment activity over the course of the past decade. Just last year alone, private investors pumped $12.5 billion into space companies with 39 M&A deals in the sector. It was called the Year of Consolidation in Space Capital's latest report. That trend seems to be continuing after investors raised $6.5 billion in Q1 of 2024. So what's the next big catalyst that can fuel the space race to new heights? Here to weigh in as a part of Yahoo Finance's Space Race Week, we've got Chad Anderson, Space Capital founder and managing partner, as well as author of The Space Economy. Thanks so much for being here with us this morning. I appreciate it. So I want to get your take on that exact question, Chad. What is the next big catalyst for space investment, given that we've already seen so much capital heading into this space? Yeah, sure. I mean, um, AI is clearly um, the darling of the industry. It's kind of um, uh, two worlds at the moment and two perspectives. You know, there's kind of the economy and then there's um, uh, AI and everything else. And um, it's no different in space. You know, recent advancements in AI are enhancing capabilities across the space economy. Um, we have, you know, it's getting involved in everything from satellite design to operations and network management. Um, uh, Planet recently incorporated NVIDIA chips onto its satellites to help with onboard processing. And at the same time, synthetic data has become an essential tool for um, uh, the advancement of AI and ML. And given the uh, massive data sets uh, that are coming off of Earth imaging satellites, geospatial intelligence is one of the largest initial markets. Um, and organizations are leveraging this technology um, for AI training and validation. And in our recent Space Capital Summit um, in New York City last month, uh, AI was one of the key trends um, and one of several important catalysts in the space economy going forward. Uh, we had a panel with um, Rendered AI, which is a leading uh, synthetic data platform uh, company, and the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, which just um, is one of the big five U.S. intelligence agencies and shows um, how interested the U.S. government, the Department of Defense, and the intelligence agencies are in this technology. Let's talk about the U.S. government's interest in space technology because you know that 80 percent of the kind of total accounting for space involves the U.S. and China when it comes to total orbital launches, I should say, in the year 2023. What do we know about the kind of space race between the U.S. and China and to what extent the U.S. is ahead in that race? Yeah, so this was another topic that we covered in our summit. Um, you know, just five years ago, Russia and Europe dominated access to orbit. And today there's a new world order with the U.S. and China collectively accounting for 80 percent of, of orbital launches and 75 percent of total funding over the last 10 years. Um, you know, but due to geopolitical tensions, we actually know very little um, about each other. Um, and so this is one of the, you know, we took this opportunity to take a peek over the wall and look at what's going on there. Um, there is a lot of innovation happening. They've quickly, they have not really been a leader um, on the global stage when it comes to space, but they have become um, a leader over the last few years. Um, they have a spacecraft that is um, bringing samples from the far side of the moon. No country has ever done this, and they are, they're doing that right now. Um, they are a leader um, in terms of launch activity. Um, and there's a lot of investment going into a lot of satellite capabilities. Um, and so the U.S. and China are, um, are the leaders in, in space at the moment. There's a lot of investment into uh, uh, these uh, defensive capabilities, the quest for the ultimate high grounds, um, establishing a base on the moon, um, and everything in between. And so defense dollars have actually been um, a key catalyst for a number of companies uh, across the space economy over the last couple of years when it's been difficult to um, access enterprise dollars, um, uh, when a lot of companies are laying off uh, staff and are reducing costs, the government has leaned in and has been spending more. So across our portfolio and across the space economy at large, we've actually seen uh, record revenues for many of the companies. All right. We're going to have to leave it there, Chad. Really appreciate you joining us on All Things Space. Thank you so much. That was Chad Anderson. He's Space Capital's founding and managing partner. Really appreciate it.